So, while we just said that they can make better Face ID than Apple. Now, if you want to know more and you're interested in this, stay tuned and let's get into this video. And how's it going, guys? This is Ed 7 Tech here, and today we're talking about Face ID by Huawei saying that they can make it better than Apple. Now, a quick history lesson. Apple just released the iPhone 10 that has Face ID. Now, Face ID is not perfect and it has its problems. Even in the press event, it couldn't unlock properly because Tim Cook made a mistake by giving the phone to different people and they also tried to unlock it. By the time it got to the actual unveiling, you know, it didn't work on stage because a lot of people were trying to unlock it and then when he tried to unlock it, it just went straight into the password. Now, having said that, Face ID is not perfect and twins can actually unlock a Face ID smartphone. So it's not at 100 to 1. Now, if you're an identical twin and your identical twin unlocks your phone, he's probably going to unlock it. Now, it, it remains to say that, you know, when you put a picture in, in front of the Face ID, it won't really unlock your phone. So it's not that stupid. But it still has its own ways and it's not perfect in any way shape or form. Now the same neural networks that Apple uses, Huawei has just done the same thing and they're saying that you know theirs is better and it can really not be tricked by twins or pictures or you know mannequins or anything like that. So but we will we will remain to see when the actual you know technology comes out and they put it in a smartphone to see how well it does in a 2018 flagship smartphone. Now this technology is going to be coming out in 2018 because Huawei has just released it just to say that they can make better Face ID than Apple's because it's the hot trend at the moment. Face ID is not that perfect on an Apple device and I feel like a lot of people are going down on Apple or throwing a ton of bricks at them because Face ID is not perfect and Apple is a brand that has been making you know high quality products for the longest time for about 10 years now they're making high quality products at a very high standard so now if they're trying to innovate and make mistakes people will just throw a ton of bricks at them like you know like they're a company that doesn't make mistakes you know having said all of that you know every company needs to innovate at some point and sometimes innovation does come with a little bit of mistakes you're not going to get it right at the first try maybe you might try two or three times before you get it right but i do feel like a lot of people don't really want apple to try two or three times before they get it right they wanted to get it right first time i think they're really going too hard on apple for doing that you know if you really want to innovate and really change the game you need to you know try out different things and trying out different things means that you'll make a lot of mistakes and making those mistakes you learn from them and grow from them and the way in the age that apple has really put their product out there they didn't leave any room for any mistakes now having said all of that it's really previous to say that you know i, I really enjoy apple making mistakes rather than not because it shows the intent that they want to make different types of products they want to innovate technology they want to you know change the game in terms of what we you know are used to because fingerprint id was getting really boring and they want to try something new and different that is unique to every human on this earth so face id was the next trend and you know having done that you know it's, it's really good for me to really talk about this because it's really getting a lot of people in the tech community talking about face id yes it's not perfect yes we can do with a lot of you know improving but i don't think that is something that you know is a deal breaker and a lot of people are going to be like oh i'm switching from apple to android because of face id no i don't think that's going to happen anytime soon i think apple is going to improve on the quality control and they're going to make it better and they're going to make it even more exciting now having said all that why we're saying they're going to be making better face id than apple it remains to be seen once it comes out we'll talk about it and see how good is it and note that the oneplus 5t that just came out has faster face id unlocking than apple's 
I hate to say it, but you know they're just using one camera, the front-facing camera, to unlock. But it's also not as perfect as Apple is. They also say that it's not going to be your main unlocking feature because it's not perfect. So Face ID is in its infancy. It's in its first generation, and I think that a lot of people are just you know throwing a ton of bricks at something that you know a lot of people are still testing out like Apple, like Huawei, like OnePlus you know Samsung also has been doing uh, Face ID with the, the iris scanner so it's, it's something that is technology that's really growing and it's gaining a lot of traction but I feel like a lot of people don't really want to see things grow they want to see it working perfectly from the onset, it's probably not possible in 2017, going down to 2018. Anyway, this is a quick video of me talking about you know Face ID and Huawei saying that they can make better Face ID than Apple's, whereas the OnePlus 5T has already been making a faster Face ID than Apple's. You know, it's technology that's in its first generation, in its first year of existence in the Apple ecosystem. In Android it's been there for a while but it wasn't a main feature and a lot of people didn't really you know gravitate towards it until Apple did it. So yeah it's, it's something that you know a lot of people can really think about. Anyway this has been a quick video of me talking about you know face ID on Huawei and Apple versus Huawei versus Apple versus OnePlus 5T. So if you got some thoughts leave it in the comments down below. Let you know what you guys think. What do you think about Face ID? Where do you think Face ID is going in the near future? Which company is going to make the better Face ID? So anyway, this has been nice and check. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and press that bell so you can stay notified of my videos. This is Ed7 Tech and I'll see you guys in the next video. Close till I get up Time is better